All right, good day, everybody. This is E. Marcel Portuit. Welcome to another edition of the original Free Kick. Uh, we are recording this on April 14th, 2024. We just got back from Mercedes Benz Stadium, where Atlanta United earned a 2 2 draw at home against the Philadelphia Union. Uh, we were able to attend the press conference of Atlanta United manager Gonzalo Pineda, offering his thoughts on the match, starting off with why there was disappointment in the team earning the 2-2 draw. Enjoy. Yes. Can you go ahead to why, please? Well, it's obvious you're going to serve at home, playing very good, um, creating a lot of chances. I think the team was very solid also defensively, and then we give up two silly goals, we'll say. So then, of course, it's frustrating because we deserve to play to win tonight, and we didn't. So it's frustrating. But uh, the important thing is, after the frustration, after all that, we learn about it, and then next time we're we're better. To what would you attribute, or what reason would you give for the silly goals? Well, it happens. It's little moments of lack of concentration. We were uh, very focused even in the moments that. If we, we had a little mistake in the build-up or something, we always corrected that, especially in the first half. There were a couple of good actions in, in our own box where we defend really well. But in this one, it felt like uh, there were critical mistakes and, and no time to react, probably. So uh, we know the type of game was in front of us, a game where we were trying to look for the game, to look to create chances, and the other team trying to destroy our attacks and then counter or hitting in transition or set pieces or throwings. That was the game. We knew that since the beginning of this of the week. We were prepared for that, but then in little moments after the seventh minute we, we lost control. Now we have got coach, despite the result, um Caleb Wiley's play and Tristan Muyama's play, I thought they played pretty well today, your thoughts. Well, I would say that everyone played very well. I think it was a very solid performance by anyone. Uh, of course, Caleb Wiley with his ball and Tristan Oyoba, I think, had a, an outstanding game, but there were many, many good performances. I think Lisa Brown did a great, great job as well. Uh, Noah Cobb, Bruce Lennon, um, Thiago had a great game, Saba, I mean, everyone, Tyler, uh, Daniel Rios, first start, first goal. Um, Bartek did a great, great job of covering ground in the middle. So I think, uh, yeah, of course, Caleb, uh, Caleb's goal was very good. I'm really happy for him because I know with the build-up we have, I'm sacrificing some attribute that he has in his game, which is attacking. But he's doing a great job of being disciplined in that and attacking by surprise and getting some stretches where he can get in the premises zones as well. But today is the reward for a kid that has been very disciplined in, in what we ask for. So very happy for that. Tristan had an outstanding game, yes, but I would say the whole team had Brad. Brad <laughs> made a couple of very good saves as well. Okay. Else famous? Back on the bus. Coach, what do you think about the performance of Daniel Rios tonight for this afternoon uh, and the goal in his debut? Well, I would say that it was difficult. You know, number one, he he hadn't trained a lot with the team. Uh, you can see that in certain moments in the first half, there was a lack of connection. One particular ball in behind that he was in outside um, into the channel. And then a couple more where he was kind of um, not synchronized with, with everyone around. But his attitude was great. And then, of course, number nine, you judge by many things, but one. Uh, that is very important scoring goals at the right time, right? So I think it was a, re a great play. Uh, I told him the other day about this type of crosses that we tried uh, exactly in that space, and then and then he was there. So uh, I'm really happy for his dedication and his commitment. Um, but again, it wasn't easy because he hasn't trained a lot with the team, and also the opposition has very good center backs. So to beat them, you really need to be good, and today he was really good. That being said. Can you just uh, provide an update on uh, Yakamakis and Gregerson and if they might return to training next week? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to see next week. I would say Gigi is a bit closer than anyone else, but we will see. Of course, we have to see how how his knee is responding. Um, and yeah, Stian is doing very good. Uh, and we will see if, uh, if he can do a bit more this week. We will evaluate throughout the week and, and then we will make decisions. Okay. 
Is all of you know this team's been very solid, not just at home but overall this season. You mentioned just a couple of laps of concentration. Oh, why why is that in your in your mind? Why did that happen? Well, I, th I think it's part of the game. It's it's, uh, it's part of the game. Certain moments you, you watch the first goal and it's a it's an amazing play by Edwin Mosquera. He goes all the way from the right side, pressing, putting all the effort from the right side. Actually, he regained the first tackle, and then there's a loose ball, and he sprints all the way to the left, and then he's committed to defend. And out of a reaction, trying to be tough because we knew those 50-50 balls are very difficult against this type of opponents. And I told them to be hard on those and to go firmly on the ball in those type of challenges. He he tries to go there, but it, it, it was a little bit of bad luck that the ball goes straight to their to their striker and then uh, the finishing is also very good maybe our reaction could have been better a little bit but uh, it was an, an accident i would say the first goal but the second one is the one that uh, that i would say uh, we will reflect on because 70th minute we're winning at home um, 70 something minutes we're winning at home and we're trying to press the goalkeeper and then bartek is pressing their six and then the second ball goes exactly where the bar that should have been if we don't press. So little details like that against these type of opponents that lead by long balls, second balls in that area and progress the ball. I think uh, I think that's what we need to reflect after that, of course, is the throwing and all these and how we defend throwings. We talk about that and, um, and yeah, it was a, a decent play uh, by them. I think we win the first duel and Caleb wins the header. But then in the top of the box, a little bit of lack of reaction there. So again, those little moments of lack of concentration, of not great reactions against these type of teams that are very direct, that are looking for those loose balls all the time, uh, and they are very efficient in the way they play. So we need to learn from it. Last one, English, Doug, go ahead. In that game situation you're just referring to about pressing the goalkeeper when we had a 2-1 lead, is that something that y'all worked on this week or, or talked about? Yeah, I think I think it's more management of the game and see the film and understand the moments of the game. It's really hard in a session trying to replicate the same action in the same minute, right? It's, it's more addressing them and it was actually the lead by one. It was the second goal. Right. Um, so even more, like, um, especially again, when we are winning at home, I want the mentality of the team is always trying to score the next goal and the next goal. And I think we did that, actually. That's why we started to have the, the advantage by two goals, because we continue going forward, trying to be proactive and attacking, and we never stop. It's in those moments where we know what type of opponent is, the goalkeeper, no chance he's going to play out from the back. He was kicking the ball no matter what. So we don't need to press them. We don't need to press them. Need for me needs to recover. Bartek being next to Tristan Muyumba, they win the first header and the second ball goes on the space next to Muyumba, and and we can affect that play better. Normally throughout the game we were very good on that. That little moment uh, we were not. And again, those are the things we need to reflect on how we manage those situations. Because for me this was kind of a play of game. It was a game against an opponent that is is uh, understand how to play the type, these type of games. And that was Gonzalo Pineda, manager of Atlanta United. You can hear disappointment in his voice. The team earns another draw after going one, going to NYCFC last week and won one uh, with a shorthanded uh, roster. Similar this week with a shorthanded roster. You mentioned Yorgos Giacomakis not being available and Steen and some other guys on the squad. And well, despite all of that, Daniel Rio scored his first goal of for Atlanta United, uh, Caleb Wiley scored his first goal of the season for Atlanta. Uh, Tiago Amada had got his first assist of the season. Seemed like all was flowing well for Atlanta, but giving up those two late goals dropped uh, several point two points for Atlanta uh, in the contest. We'll have more analysis of the contest of the contest specifically throughout the week as the team prepares to uh, face Cincinnati and host them on April twentieth. And uh, we'll be most likely be at that contest and have some more analysis and content from there. Thanks for watching or listening to this latest edition of the original free kick. As always, follow everything that we do on the sportsinquire.net, premier site for news and notes in the world of sports. You can also go to our social media platforms on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 
under Sports Inquirer. Make sure you subscribe and share all the content that you see on there, as well as on our other platforms such as YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, and much more. And once again, thanks for listening and watching to this latest edition of the Original Free Kick. Until next time, good fight, good night, and be safe.